So, Pope Francis has been in some fire or in some smoke recently for allowing gay marriage in the Catholic churches. Uh, some people think as a religious leader, you shouldn't be accepting that. Um, some people actually support it. Some people love it. Depending on which side you are, feel free to talk to us. But prior to this um, recent occurrence, Tucker Carlson had an interview with Javier Milei. And he calls Pope Francis, Pope Francis a communist. And he said he has affiliation with murderers. Today we're going to be checking that out. So here, this. So I would think you're a Catholic. You said you're just defending really the Catholic life principle. The Pope, the current Pope is from Argentina. I would think he would support you. He has instead criticized you and you've called him a communist. Why, why the disconnect? Bueno, primero porque el Papa juega políticamente. Eh, es decir, es un, un Papa donde tiene fuerte injerencia política. Ha demostrado además una gran afinidad con dictadores como Castro o como con Maduro. Es decir, está del lado de de dictaduras sangrientas. Wait, I'm sorry, to, Raúl Castro is a murderer. Sí, y Fidel Castro también era otro asesino. But the Pope, you believe the Pope has an affinity for Raúl Castro? Sí, exacto. Sí, tiene afinidad por los comunistas asesinos. De hecho, no los condena. Es decir, es bastante condescendiente con ellos. Y es también condescendiente con la dictadura venezolana. Es decir, él es condescendiente con todos los de izquierdas, aun cuando sean verdaderos criminales. Lo cual eso es un problema. Pero además es alguien que considera que la justicia social un elemento central de, de su visión Y eso es, es muy complicado porque la justicia social, que es robarle el fruto de su trabajo a una persona y dárselo a otra. Entonces implica dos cosas. Una es un robo. Y el problema es que el robo está en contra de lo que señalan los diez mandamientos. Es decir, avalar la justicia social es avalar el robo. Por lo tanto, es un problema de que está violando los diez mandamientos. El otro problema es que es un trato desigual frente a la ley. Y no me parece que sea algo justo, digamos, que algunos sean premiados y otros sean castigados desde, un, desde una posición de poder como la que tiene el Estado, que tiene el monopolio de la violencia. No, I know this is very, or oh, it's a big allegation, but I like how open he is and willing to speak because some people will try to sugarcoat things and try to conceal information now he said it if there is a point where you think he might be lying and you have more valid points to counter what he said feel free to you know share your own views but i've heard a lot of people refer to um this leadership i'm not necessarily pope francis but the pope people have said they don't think it's um it's religious based people think it's more political i've had people say that even a lot of people would say i'm never going to a catholic church people would often refer i don't know if you guys said about the residential school thing that happened in canada people would affiliate that to politics and saying it was not even about the church that it was more political and one thing led to one thing and this happened for that reason they'll never go to church People have had arguments like that. I've had conversations where people would tell you stories like that. But let me know your views on all of these issues. So when you look around, it's fascinating to look around the city, Buenos Aires, and the architecture is a mixture of sublimely beautiful buildings and stupendously ugly buildings. And it feels like looking at an archaeological tell where the architecture corresponds to certain political eras. And I wonder if you believe that socialism, leftism, produces ugliness. So that's it for that video. Some would say it's quite a controversial view on the leader of the Catholic Church. Um, some would say he's spot on and right on the facts. And don't forget he's Catholic himself. So he's not criticizing the Catholic Church. 
but he's talking about po the Pope Francis and his affiliation. So if you have anything that counts as the point and you want to share, feel free. If you do agree with him and you want to talk more, expand more on the topic, feel free to let us know. That being said, it's the end of this one. I just thought I should bring it to you guys so we can have a discussion. And if you want to see a follow-up video or you want to see the full video, the link will be in the description. Have a wonderful day. Peace.